Hi, this is Bonnie, and I'm in Austin, Texas, and I wanted to uh, do a little selfie video of a home improvement project I've been working on. So I wanted to upgrade my staircase, and the first thing I did, I wanted to make my stair railing darker. So I used Java gel stain, I did a light sand, and I applied just one coat with a foam brush. Some people use like a sock or several coat method of um, using a rag. I just did one coat, let it dry four days, and then I did some of their rub on poly. And uh, so that's done. So I didn't really care at the time if I got stain on my wooden balusters. So the next thing is you want to order your balusters. So first come up with a plan. I did a combination of twists, baskets, and scrolls. And I got mine from uh, cheapstairparts.com. But they're very good quality, good service, and great prices. So after I ordered them, and came up, came up with my plan. Well, and I made sure I ordered the hollow ones because I knew that they would be easier to cut. So a lot of times they say to uh, people saw them off. I found it less sawdust if I just used like what you cut your bushes with. So I would just get them like this, cut them right off. And then you want to twist the bottom back and forth. And sometimes the nails come out and sometimes they don't. But if they don't come out, you can just use some pliers and just twist them out. So, well, let's see. Okay, it'll twist out. And then on the top, you just kind of twist it back and forth, kind of hear it snap. Okay. Then you're going to measure, mine's about an inch and a quarter of the hole, so I didn't have to uh, dig any holes, drill, I should say, drill any deeper. Um, and then you would measure from here up, minus, like I said, at, at an extra inch and a quarter. Or sometimes what I would do is I would just kind of set it in and then put a piece of tape. Like I would mark the tape at the length I wanted to cut. So my tape mark would be right about this level and maybe just a quarter inch uh, shorter. So then when I swing it over, then I could, uh, it would fit in easily. So the next thing that I was kind of concerned about, let me get on there, was how to cut them. Because I'm kind of a small lady and I didn't want to get a big power saw. So what I did was I got a vise and I put the vise in the garage and I would put, after I made my cut, like I said, with that tape mark above this level, a little shorter, I would put it in the vise and put a piece of cloth here, put my safety glasses on, of course, and then I would get it started with the hacksaw, just to get the edge going. And then I got a reciprocating saw. And you can use different saws, but for me this was easier. The reciprocating saw is almost like a big meat cutter. So I would just saw it down. And then I would come back. And you want to dry set them all first. You know, you know, then I would glue it in a section at a time. So you would just after you're cut, I'll just take one that's already here. You would just set it in and then bring it down. And this, these have shoes, and the shoes, they have a little set screw. So before you do glue them in, you probably want to make sure that the set screws, you know, all worked. And you all want to face the same way. Now, some people don't glue the tops, but I remember when my house was inspected, the first thing you did was touch every rail every balsa to make sure they were tight. And they do say to use epoxy. Um, I had heard too that once you use epoxy, it sets very quickly. You can never get them out. It's drippy. So what I used was power ground. And I bought this kind. I didn't even need a cotton gun. So afterwards you would just spray a little bit each. It just foams up. And then you would just set them in. And later, for me, I'm going to probably sand the bottom just a little bit um, and then paint this part. But sometimes they will fit right over and then they have to do that part. And oh, uh, actually, too, you have about 30 minutes if you do use the power grub. So after I, or any kind of glue really, probably went a little bit of time. So just make sure after you glue them, you might want to wipe the edges and make sure they're straight. So I think I saved probably a couple thousand dollars doing this project myself. And I'm just doing a few at a time. I have 107, and eventually we'll get done. 
And I think anyone could do this on their own, and you can have your own HGTV moment.